Hey everybody, this is still Negaroth. I just wanted to make this little addendum piece basically uh, because Glazius said he wanted to see what some of the upgraded weapons look like and what better place to do it than in attrition mode. And also this is a good little example of what attrition mode holds as, uh, as long as I can figure out, you know, hotkeys and things like that. And we don't really need the, the night vision on ever as far as I can tell. Maybe it does some additional stuff, maybe Deeper Thought can fill me in on that. But, yeah, the uh, the one major factor of, well, attrition mode is that there's really no safe places to be. Enemies will chase you no matter what, no matter where, and depending on what type of enemy it is, yeah, you, you could easily be uh, screwed into a corner. Like, that big-ass robot there, that is seriously a pain in the ass to deal with. It doesn't get blinded, it doesn't really get stunned, fire doesn't really seem to hurt it, can't shrink it, can't really expand it as far as I can tell. It's, it is a fucking wrecking machine, to say the least. Thankfully though, everything else is kind of doable. Uh, I'm just trying to show off the pipe bomb here a bit. At this particular level, it will blind it will pop out even more of the little bomblets and it will actually the bomblets will actually seek after enemies now this particular upgrade right here for the shrinker is referred to as the vortex of death and it is fucking amazing to say the least it will basically it's it's a black hole it'll suck in anything nearby and it will either shrink it or shrink it to the point of actually smashing it to bits and it'll pretty much do that to everything like I think the only thing that I've seen that it won't do it to are the big robots so you see a boss nearby you see maybe like three battle lords nearby you shoot it near them and they all die very quickly uh, the rocket launcher right now, it does more damage, there's no longer a speed handicap, and it will set the general area on fire, and I think it has a larger explosion radius, and oh yeah, this fucker. That's, uh, it's basically a, a clone of Duke, and it will have a randomized set of equipment, which can either be very bad or even worse. Uh, if it has something like a Devastator or Rocket Launcher, it could easily take you out in a couple hits. If it has something like a Shotgun, it'll probably take out about 40 or 50 health per hit and be hit scanned. So, have fun with that. But, uh, a, fun, a fun new feature of the Expander that took me a while to figure out was that it will actually, if you, whenever you kill something with it, it will actually make a clone on Duke's side to fight for you. So I went ahead and basically took that nearby boss, expanded him to death, and now he's fighting for me, which is actually a very useful feature to say the least. He basically has a shit ton of health, he has very powerful rockets that he'll continue to fire out, and uh, he doesn't take any shit. Obviously the only problem is that there's basically still a good swarm of deadly enemies around so he can only do so much before he goes down so you, you do kinda have to help him or if you have enough expander ammo then you can just you know exp you know clone even more guys if you uh, really want to even though I will say a lot uh, some, some enemies are more useful than others to get a clone of especially ones with like heat seeking bullets and rockets and things like that but yeah we're just down to five enemies this uh, this particular wave is kinda hard uh, but it's all relative to the fact that this I think this is about the fifth or sixth uh, attrition map and they just seem to get progressively harder and harder and harder so this one is pretty fucking hard I'm, I'm still trying to beat it honestly but I figured that this was close enough uh, to a good indication of some of the, the nicer upgrades in the game, especially with, you know, the pipe bomb, the, the, the 
rocket launcher, the, the vortex of death. And uh, there's there's actually a fairly nice alt fire on the Devastator where you can actually switch it to fire shotgun rounds instead of uh, the normal Devastator rounds. It'll still take up Devastator rounds per se, but uh, instead of, you know, you can, you can now use it as a close range weapon, which you'll see here. Basically a very nice automatic shotgun. Un until you get the, uh, I think at about level 6 on the shotgun, you get uh, basically like a rapid fire. It's very nice. You can basically stun lock enemies at that point. And I am wanting to get the next upgrade for the Devastator, so I'll be using that in just a bit here. Thankfully in these big wide open areas, it's actually fairly easy to get Devastator kills without, you know, blowing yourself up. But, you know, my god, some of these custom enemies are really fucking difficult, to say the least. Especially, uh, you know, ones with shields, ones with like these big homing fuck off bullets, like that. That bullet is homing. And it will continue to home unless you either... I think you can shoot it to dissipate it. Or you can basically try to like run it into a wall or something. Sometimes though it's it's, heaking, it's uh, seeking AIs a little bit better than you are. But yeah, we've with the next upgrade to the Devastator, it actually now has seeking rockets, which you can see there just a bit. Sadly though, I've run out of Devastator ammo, so the next best, best thing, which is just fucking people up with pipe bombs. Pipe bombs seriously do level up very nicely, and they level up fairly quickly, and there's there's a plentiful amount of them in the game. Just showing off one of the alt fires here for the laser. Basically shoots a very large uh, orb. I think it's called like a pow ball. Um, it's a bit hard to aim to say the least, especially with, with auto aiming. It'll just kind of aim wherever, wherever it really wants to. Uh, kind of the same way with the vortex of death. If if it's trying to auto-aim at something far away, uh, you kind of have to lob it at the ground if you want to hit something close by. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the... Uh, oh, no, we got, a, we got a laser trip mine. And with some information from Deeper Thought, we... Or Deep Thought? I don't know. Hopefully I'm not fucking up your name. But yeah, he told me you can stick laser trip mines on people and... Yeah, I did a few upgrades on those, and they actually are quite powerful. They end up getting a lot of the same upgrades as the pipe bomb, but if you take into consideration that includes, like, heat-seeking little bomblets and blinding nearby enemies, like, you see all those little bouncy bombs? Those are all from my pipe bombs, and they are trying to find something to blow up on, which can be very deadly, to say the least. But the one thing you have to be careful of, especially in any attrition map, is just making sure you have enough, like, useful weaponry. Uh, you can easily be stuck at the end of the level with nothing but, you know, freezer ammo. And some things like tanks or larger enemies, freezer ammo is basically kind of worthless after a point. So, you do have to be kind of careful and divvied out accordingly. But as we are coming to the end of the level, that means that I'm probably going to be dying soon. Um, not the most gracious death, but yeah, it just kind of becomes overwhelming at this point. As I uh, was trying to think of any other weapons to show off. So, I'm just trying to show off the, the freezer a little bit. I think the problem is that a, a Duke clone ended up getting spawned out, so... Not the easiest thing to deal with, ever. But yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to work up the uh, the freeze thrower. It's uh, it's it's upgrades so far haven't been that great, and still needing to go up and like pick someone or shoot them to kill them is just kind of I don't want to say tedious, but I'd rather just do direct damage and oh fuck. Yeah, those uh, those little molten bullets you see are heat seeking, and they do quite a bit of damage, and there's just as you can tell a fucking constant stream of them. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Hopefully this is a bit more enlightening about the upgrades available in Attrition. And uh, we'll see you next time for more Duke Nukem.